Link's Employee Handbook, Salvage Hazards. Be aware, your HUD displays an indicator on panels which would cause a decompression event if cut. Yeah, we haven't seen any pressurized ships yet. Pressurized ships yet. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Seriously, nothing? You got nothing to say to me this morning? Great. Career progression clearance. Hazard level 3. Congratulations! You are now qualified to handle electrical hazards during salvage. Due to regulatory rollbacks in introduced in 2299, Link Salvage does not do a, a preliminary exam of ships to disconnect potential electricity hazards. Interesting that they straight up identify, yeah, no, they, we, the regulatory rollback did that. That's great. Electrical components may arc when removed, impacted, or damaged, causing other objects to be electrified, including the shipbreaker themselves. This can cause damage to the Link's spare and Link's equipment. Again, Link's spare, euphemism for your body. Caution is advised. Good to know. Also, I love that this little thumbs up guy in the top, like he shows up all over the place, but he looks a bit like a skull. Okay. New ship access. Mackerel Exolab. Typically used for deep space research, the Macro Exolab is outfitted with a wide variety of scientific instrumentation. Extract this fragile equipment carefully and beware of electrical hazards. All right. So... My income from yesterday was about a million dollars. 600,000 um, was my fee, my fees. Spare regeneration fees, $75,000. Maybe it wasn't Tuesday, so there's no <laughs> employee discount. Hey, Connor, I'm looking at the stats coming from your bay, and it's looking like you're really going to make your way around here. Thanks, Connor. Thanks, it's time to learn about how to upgrade your equipment and some of the more advanced tools you'll soon have at your disposal. Now head on over to your workbench in the equipment room and we'll see about upgrading your tools. All right. Last time I played this through, um, this was bugged, so... I'm gonna read this there we go. from the manual. So it's not bugged this time. Links rewards hard work and learning by giving shipbreakers access to tool improvements and new equipment. Reaching salvage goals is essential for becoming a master shipbreaker. Basically, they wanna make sure you prove yourself first before giving you the big guns. Completing salvage goals will net you shiny links tokens. This big bright Use those tokens arrow. here to get yourself some new gear. Sometimes Can anyone else see that? There are some extra goodies in the I'm not having a stroke, too. am I? So let's get going and learn about one of the most important tools in a shipbreaker's toolbox. Tethers. Go ahead and purchase them. Uh, Weaver, can you call a paramedic? Tether module. Purchasing the license. See, this is great too. It's a license. You're not just buying the stuff, you're buying the license. For remote contiguous Vanderwaals contiguous? Continuous? Contiguous. Vanderwaals median tensor. Or tether. Tethers can be deployed to establish two electromagnetic anchors that pull objects along a field medium. Have a quick read, then hop back in the bay. Got it. A versatile tool in the hands of skilled workers, the introduction of tethers led to the second greatest increase in salvaging efficiency in Link's history, only losing out to the real protein breakfast meal. Discontinued at 2262. I feel like putting together a timeline of all this stuff. Got it. I'm curious about O2 capacity. I gotta get to 8 before I can do that. Hmm. All right. Uh, okay. We'll get to the stickers as they unlock. Start shift. All right. I already said I'm not going to continue that salvage because there's basically nothing. Well, there's not nothing left on it, but not not six hundred thousand dollars worth of salvage. That's for sure. So I'm going to start training. 
let me tell you how to use these things. Tethers are more powerful than the beam of your grapple, so they're great for moving super heavy salvage. Try it out. Press and hold the secondary input for the grapple to begin placement. Point where you want the salvage to move to, and then release it to create the tether. These are 3,000 kilograms. That's way too much. Alright. Heavy boy. He's a heavy boy. Great. Now, what if you want to get rid of the tethers you've placed? There's a cancel command you can send, but take note that it clears all the tethers you've placed. Go ahead and try it now. Yeah, there you go. Now you've got unlimited tethers during this training exercise. But after this, when you need more, you'll have to buy them from the kiosk. Let's see how well you can handle them now. Try to clear out a bunch of that scrap. You can stack multiple tethers on one object to increase the pull force. You can also chain objects of any size together to move them all as a group. I've seen some cutters do some incredible things with the daisy chain of tethers. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. All right. Well done, Cutter. Looks like you know how to handle these things. When you're ready, let's go back to the hab and continue with the day. Oops. I've got a few times here. It's not quite clear if it's connecting to the object or to the wall behind it. See, that's not, that's not good. That doesn't do anything. Something else I always forget is possible too. It's like to start it from where you want to go. Alright. That's that. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. One of the things that annoys me is that when I'm using this to traverse the bay, it pulls slightly up. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Alright, time to get to the, the real day here. <laughs>